Hello, hello, hello. Um. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. My audio settings are messed up. I think. No, I'm just tripping. Okay, okay. Um, just heads up, I will not be, like, super attentive during this cast. I'm probably going to go step out during the games, but, um, I'll try to give some context behind things, at least. Uh. Okay, I guess the lobby is already created. Um, I don't know when draft is going to be, and I don't know if draft links have been posted yet. They actually have. Okay, sick. Um think this game should be pretty interesting. Um, we're seeing a bit of a new roster from Spectres, and I'm not entirely sure what the roster for the other team is, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and hop into the highlights. Uh, Hidiri is back, uh, which I'm super excited about. I hope he is feeling a bit better um, and can perform um, as we know he can. Um, uh, he is 3-0 on Cassante, so we might see that champion come back out. It's not as strong as it used to be. Um, Silico Zareth is a concern. Uh, Garrett Jacob Botlane, I think, is pretty solid, uh, so I'm excited to see some good plays from that. Uh, Noam in the jungle has also been performing very well this season. Um, I would say definitely better than Anne, so hopefully we'll get to see how that goes. Um, Avery is in the top lane, 2 0 on Mordekaiser, although that is probably not the champion we're expecting to see from him. Um, Fiora, Yasuo, uh, and Jax, I think, are probably his big ones. He gets put on Orn duty a lot, but he is um, definitely better than that champion allows him to be. And we have Rex Kathy bot lane. So I don't think we've seen too much. Um, Rex's Tristana has a 4 and 0 win rate. Very impressive. Um, and we have Hong return to the mid lane. Victor has most played, I believe, but he's 5 and 7 on the pick and has not performed better on other picks. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how well he plays. Um, bit of a swap up here. Um, the key matchup is going to be Hong versus Silico mid, and they've actually never faced off, which is impressive, considering both of them have over 20 games. Uh, played in the mid lane with similar KDs, uh, very prolific players. Um, Rex is the key player for the Spectres. He's played 27 games, 59.3% win rate. The KD of a 3.4, very impressive. Um, lots of big ADCs on this list. Um, I'm expecting to possibly see um, some Draven gameplay. Um, draft is starting in about two minutes, so I'll try and cover what I can. Looks like we've actually gone through any everything, so... Uh, for draft, I'm not really sure what to expect. Um, it's really hard to ban out um, the meta busters. We'll probably see the Nami get taken away. Um, even though Garrett's name is a Jin one trick name, usually his Ezreal gets banned, so we might see that. Um, but it's pretty much impossible to ban out Silico, so we might just see a meta jungler taken away from Noam that Anne doesn't play too much. Um, I'm expecting to see Hong and Rex's pool get focused, maybe some picks away from Kathy. Usually her Lulu, Soraka, something like that skip banned. Um, Yumi is... Uh, Pickable again, um, so that could be kind of interesting. Um, I'm not super sure what to expect here. I don't know. Hard to predict this. I'll bet Ezreal, Nami, Vi, ban against Metabusters, um, or a Vi first pick, and probably like Draven, Yumi, Victor, something like that. Uh, I feel like Udyr's fallen off in Pryo a little bit, so I don't expect to see that go through. Um, so we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. Uh, the lane I'm most interested in is top lane. Uh, honestly, I think Kong and Silico is just going to play out exactly how I expect to. Both of these players are probably going to play uh, pretty well. Um, Hong's going to play way more passively. Silico's going to force plays. Uh, may or may not work. Um, he tends to be pretty aggressive. Uh, bot lane, I'm hoping Garrett and Jacob are going to be able to just neutralize the Rex Cathy lane. So I think that'll lead to a more interesting um, game. If Rex just kind of wipes the floor, then um, should be pretty boring. Uh, honestly, I think um, his team will be able to convert and make it a very um, easy clap. But Avery and Hadiri, I think, will be quite interesting. Uh, it will be interesting to see how Hadiri adjusts to coming back to the game. Um, I feel like he's been playing a lot more recently and is gold to unranked, so I feel like he's back on the grind uh, doing pretty well. I'm excited to see how he performs. Um, Avery, also a very good player, um, has done uh, a lot of good plays um, throughout the season. Um, hopefully it should be uh, a good time. All 
Alright, draft is starting. Uh, it looks like we have an Ezreal ban, as I predicted. Uh, plus one points for me. Um, I say Draven Yumi Victor. Soraka, okay, that's another good one. Uh, that was like my fourth guess, so my minus one for me for that one. But I think it's a pretty solid ban. Good choice for Meta Busters there. Um, I wonder if Kathy will be put on Yumi Duty. I honestly hope not. I feel like that's kind of boring. Um, I also feel like the style of champions that Rex plays uh, don't go with it as well, unless we see Twitch Yumi, in which case I will quite literally vomit on my keyboard. This should be a Nami. Unless they're planning on first picking it. Vi is another good one. Uh, Teemo is banned. Uh, I think that's just reasonable every time you're playing against Silgo. Draven taken away. Okay. I'm uh, 2 for 4 so far. Um, these teams are pretty hard to read, though, so I'm not surprised I'm doing pretty poorly. Uh, this next ban should be the Nami, um, I think, if they're being prudent. Bam. Okay. 3 for 5. And Victor. Okay. That's a 4 for 6. I'm calling that. That's pretty good. Um, first pick Vi? Question mark. Uh, no, it is just any mid um, for Hong. I don't see it going anywhere else. Um, we'll see if Metabusters is able to kind of counterfeit this. I think anything with range should be pretty good. Um, the Xerath might be something that we want to look for here, especially because Silico has history on the champion. Um, I do hope they lock in a mid lane pick early here, uh, just so that they don't have to double blind something. Singed Hover. This might be the Singed mid. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this is kind of crazy. I'm not really sure what's going uh, on here. Uh, Singe has been a pretty prolific mid laner um, recently and has like a 55% re uh, win rate all season. So um, should be kind of interesting. Uh, so we'll see if Metabusters is able to play around it accurately. But um, maybe Vi here. Nope, Seraphine's locked in. That's probably for Jacob. Although it technically is a flex across three rolls. Um, so very hard for Spectres to draft into this. Um, we could also just be seeing some meta busting going on here. I don't know if they've been labbing some sort of like Seraphine Singed bot lane or something interesting like that. I'm uh, not entirely sure what is going down. Um, blue pick uh, hopefully will be um, something that can deal with the Seraphine quite well. Uh, Kaisa I know is a pretty good pick into it, but yeah, the Twitch is left open. We're going to see the Twitch Yumi locked in here almost 100%, I think. Um, it's a good way to kind of scale into the passive lane because you can just shove out and then roam and catch other people off guard. So you don't necessarily have to get leads directly into the more passive bot lane that we're likely to see from meta busters here. It's Twitch Lulu instead. Um, pretty much the same thing. Uh, less of like the submarine um, idea where the Yumi can go invisible with you. The Lulu will kind of give away your position, but I think Kathy is a lot better in that champion. And I'm happy that she has a chance to kind of show off her skill, which I feel like you can't really do on new Yumi. Um, old Yumi, there was definitely potential to kind of show that you knew how to play the game. Um, on the new one, not at all. We're actually going to see the Tristana locked in here. Uh, this could be mid, which would put the Singe top lane, or it could be Trist Seraphine bot lane. Um, Garrett going a little bit more aggressive into this Twitch pick. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. Um, it's hard to know uh, where Trist is going at this particular patch. Um, but it could be Trist Seraphine bot lane. I think that could be cool. Uh, Udir is getting banned. Um, here it looks like I think it's fallen down a little bit in priority, but taking Anna off comforts uh, still pretty good. Um, hmm. I'm hoping that one of these uh, junglers will pick Vi, a uh, very good champion, um, but maybe not. I'm not entirely sure what roles have been picked for Metabusters, but we're likely to see something top jungle coming out here. Uh, Orn might be another good ban. Um, against the Spectres. Uh, and Spectres, once again, kind of forgot to do their research on Metabusters, it looks like. Echo is a ban. Uh, I think Silico plays that champion. Um, an amount. I don't know how good of a ban it is. Um, I'd like to see an Orn here, or just another jungler taken off the table. Specifically, something that, come, something that will counter uh, whatever they lock in next. But Mordekaiser is being banned away. Um, looks good on the graphics, so clearly it's a good ban, I think. Um... <laughs> Or they're just playing Singed and it deals with Singed well. Um, Evelyn's locked in for Metabusters. That's crazy. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like Evelyn is really hard to play well in fives. Um, I'm hoping Anne whips out the Rengar here to counter it. Although I know there's a 0% chance of happening. 
Um, could be cool. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, Evelyn really suffers in fives because you're able to kind of communicate where she is around the map, uh, which is something that is a lot harder to do when you don't have um, ultra capabilities. Um, Avery is locking in the Darius blind. I think this champion is quite good. Or they think it's cinched top, in which case it is not blind, and I do believe it is a even or winning matchup for Darius. I'm not 100% on that, though. Just double checking real quick. Yeah, it seems like it's probably even. Um, both champions are pretty good, uh, so I think it probably just neutralizes out. And I think Singe doesn't have to interact with Darius too much, but Darius getting fed early is quite good. And the last pick uh, is Vi. Okay, thank god uh, one of us has picked this champion. Um, she can also follow Evelyn during her ult, I believe. I don't think Evelyn can break out of uh, the ultimate, but I don't know. Kind of interesting. I think it's also just like a good matchup into Evelyn. Uh, I don't really know what Evelyn's going to do into uh, these bulkier champs. And Annie has really good counterplay into Evelyn as well. Uh, so this is just going to be tough for Noam to get too much done here. And the last pick is Sejuani. Uh, yeah, I have no clue what the fuck they're doing. Um, this could be Sichuani top. Um, I'm not sure it's, like, the greatest pick in the world. Sichuani is huge in Divide, so this could be lane Evelyn, um, which would go hard. Uh, I'd love to see that. But, yeah, I'm pretty unclear on what's going on. I think, uh, it's a bit crazy. Um, so I'm just gonna wait until they start locking in champs to figure out, uh, what was going on here. I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming this is going to be mid lane Evelyn. Um, not 100% on it, though. Uh, I think uh, Spectres is pretty easy to figure out what they're doing. Um, very straightforward. Um, however, for the Metabusters, it is a lot harder to figure it out. Um, never mind. Wow, they're not doing this correctly if they're doing what I think they are. Um, so, Shawnee top into Darius is Giga Sleeper. Um, and the Evelyn uh, Vi matchup is quite bad. Uh, I guess they are still meta busting uh, just by going what's uh, bad in fives, but um, there's definitely something that's been uh, gone for this game. I'm not sure if I'm happy with it for the side of uh, meta busters here, though. Um, I'm just going to regen the game border real quick, and then we should be good to go. Uh, we should be loading in in about three minutes. Um, so I'm going to kick it back here and look at some of these more advanced things. Uh, the champ matchups we have actually not seen for the most part. Trisana has done fairly well on the Twitch, and Seraphine has completely obliterated Lulu when she has the chance. Um, so it looks like uh, the better bot lane is going to Metabusters, and there's not too much data on the other things. Um, Avery has completely smurfed on this Darius in the past. Um, Hadiri has played pretty damn well on Sichuani too, though. Um, Anne's Vi is looking a little bit rough, but Noam's uh, Evelyn, pretty solid so far. Um, Hong's Annie looks pretty decent. I believe it was a sport game. Silico's Singe is disgusting, though. One in one, you have a loss, and you still have an 8.17 KDA. That is disgusting. Garrett has not played Tristan this server before. Um, Rex is kind of smurfing on this Twitch. 2 and 0 with a 4.29 KDA. Um, Kathy's Lulu, pretty solid. A few losses, just because Kathy's Kittens did not perform super well in the last season, I think. Um, 3.5 KD is nothing to scoff at. And Jacob Seraphine is looking a little bit rough, but I think he can turn around. Has a bit of experience on the pick. Um, yeah, I do wish this was like Singe top, Sichuani jungle with like, the Evelyn mid. I think Zilla could get a lot done on that pick, but uh, both Evelyn and Singe mid have the similar play style of just being able to roam and not really interact with Hong. Hong is going to farm up pretty strong. But I think on the Annie, it just doesn't matter as much as it would um, 
on something like a Victor or an Oriana, which are the other champions we probably would have expected from him. Uh, I am Dean. I am casting. I am not playing. Uh, I'm going to start a prediction. Uh, who will win? Uh, let's do... Spectres and Metabusters. Alright, we should be getting into game in about a minute. I'm um, counting down. Uh. None of these champions look particularly good this season. Sichuani has been kind of garbage, and he's actually 6-1, um, so I completely didn't see that. And then Singed and Tristana are kind of smurfing. Um, so both champions for the Metabusters in like the mid and ADC traditional carry positions look pretty solid. Um, I expect Eni to do well, and Twitch Lulu is always going to be super annoying to deal with. Um, these player matchups, uh, there's no data between Hadiri and Avery, which I think is interesting, so um, more focus on that lane. And as we talked about before, Silico and Hong have not faced off against each other. Um, Noam has a losing record into Anne, but has outperformed pretty significantly um, across those games. Rex has completely dumpstered Garrett, though, so we'll see if they're able to kind of pull this back. And Kathy definitely has the edge over Jacob in terms of match history. Um, I think <laughs> outside of the season, Annie has been a 0-7. Uh, just a little tidbit there, that's kind of funny. Um, Evelyn has never lost a game, so we'll see if uh, Noam will be able to hold to that. Should be loading in any minute here. Uh, Hong with the new skin, pretty solid. Garrett with the uh, definitely underrated uh, Tristana skin here, I think. Looking at Mastery, uh, topside for uh, the Metabusters is looking kind of rough, but... Oh my lord, this Twitch Lulu Mastery is kind of disgusting, as well as Avery's Darius. Um, mastery Advantage definitely goes to uh, the Spectres this game. I'm expecting a lot from them, I think. Well, you have the uh, Shadowy Summer's Rift, which means that, uh, you know, someone's got uh, the crap internet, I think. Or they just paused immediately. Uh, hard to know for sure. Uh, I guess we can just look at runes. Electric Group for Manny, pretty standard. Um, no Predator is kind of interesting. Conk for both Vi and the Darius. So Ant's going for a more late game build here. Not going for the Halo Blades for the extra early power on Vi. Um, late game Twitch, probably going to go AD here. Um, Halo Blades would indicate that he's going AP. Um, everything else looks pretty standard, I think. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. Um, Trist is going for the Hail Blazer. I think it's a lot better after uh, Lethal got um, nerfed. But um, okay, here we go. In game now. I love when League does that to me. Uh, I think Hong just had the top esports emote, um, based as usual from him. Big top enjoyers. I think Jackie Love just put out a statement on like his stream or something that um, he doesn't int. He just tries really hard. So when he does lose, he's at least inting with purpose, I think is what he said, which is a funny way to phrase it, but I'm sure part of that's just like a mistranslation. We could see something going on the top side of the map here um, with some ward shenanigans, but it looks like Garrett's actually going to spot Kathy out on a ward. Um, the very Nasus much wow emote, pretty solid. Uh, I think that one was a twitch drop during some MSI. Avery is walking up very aggressively towards Noam. I'm not sure he even has the pulls. I'm not sure what could be done there. Uh, if they were to clash. Uh, Garrett's trying to pressure Hong off of uh, the mid lane, but I really don't think any team's going to be able to get much done here, um, unless Hong's able to land a stun, but everyone should just be playing out of range of it. Uh, Noam and Anne both opting for the early oracles. Uh, the interaction was changed here, so neither of them will be able to sweep early enough in the game to get too much done with it. It's like pretty normal starts from both sides. Nice, positive. Good luck, have fun in chat. 
love to see it from the Meta Lusters. This team is always very fun to play into. Um, Andrew says no, so... That's a response, for sure. Silco is losing the early trade. Hong proxy electrocute. He drops down a little bit. The Doran shield should help him out a little bit. Um, and Fidiri seems to be off to a good start. Um, you'd love to see it. Balian, we do want to watch for the level 2. Not sure who it's going to go to. It looks like it's likely going to go over to Spectres. Um, Garrett's trading pretty well onto them, though, but his Halo Blaze is going to be down for the early fights. Looks like some action was going on top lane, but nothing crazy. They are both pretty tanky champions, so don't expect to see too much. Um, Hadiri is full bleed stacked, but the Ignite's dropped onto um, Avery, and Hadiri should hopefully just be able to sustain out of here. Um, both bot lanes hit level 2 at about the same time, so nothing really went on here. Um, both junglers are pathing towards topside. Anna's looking for a potential invade here. Um, both junglers at the 12 CS have taken three camps. Um, Garrett walked up early, forces the poly out, and Rex is going to drop down to about 300 health pretty low um, early in the game. Uh, Garrett's doing a really good job of pressuring him off the wave, keeping him um, from scaling up too hard too quickly. Avery has been playing this early lane super well. He's up about 10 CS, keeping Sejuani off the wave, especially after that strong early trade he had. Hopefully Hideri's going to be able to grab a cannon. And yep, no minus ones in chat today, at least so far. Level 3 is reached, and is going for the wraparound gank. Hideri is just in trouble here, and commits the flash to grab the first blood. Um, now I'm just a little bit late to this, um, but is staying out of vision of Anne, so um, he should be fine. Shwani does have the benefit of having TP, so um, Hideri should be able to get back into the game a little bit. I'm not going to be struggling too, too much. Yeah, unfortunately, Seraphine doesn't have like huge engage tools, so uh, it's harder for her to set up early Tristana plays, but um, Garrett's been farming pretty well, and he's very healthy, so he should be able to force a base off of Twitch. Um, Polly's a really good disengage tool for this, though, so it's going to be hard for Garrett to get too much done. Looks like they're trying to initiate a play here. Triss does just get polyed, but the poke is going down on Rex. Um, that one was a minus one, if you want to call that out. But, you know, happens. Alright, looks like Gnome's going for potential gank here. It's pre-6 for Evelyn, so she doesn't have her invis, um, so it could be a little bit rough. Fight is breaking out on the top side. Hideri is able to get the stun off, winning out the trade at first, but um, Avery is going to win the trade the longer it goes. The Ignites drop down early, right before the Q healing. Um, I think Hideri's done that both times. It's a really good way to kind of neutralize the fight for Darius, um, reducing his healing, and Kathy walks up to the fully stacked bomb on the tower, um, which chunks are down pretty low. There could be a play here. Silico's running up for it, gets the flip down, um, and Noam is able to get the charm, and Silico picks up the first kill for his team in the mid lane, but he is down about half CS here. And Anna's coming for the cleanup play, potentially. Silico's a bit far up. And still has no flash, though. Uh, but Silico just doesn't even have flash um, at all. He's able to get the ground. He hits six. Um, does not have enough mana for ult, and he's able to just walk out pretty cleanly. Good stuff from Silico there. Um, ultimately, the play bot lane is just going to fizzle. Drasana gets the first back off, and Twitch is probably going to reach similar CS before backing, so... Fortunately, the advantage that Tristan was able to gain um, in the early game is just going to amount to kind of nothing. Yep. They're able to bring the gold almost back to even. Uh, I think especially with this plate that Hideri is going to pick up. Uh, yeah, it's only about 100 gold separating the two teams, probably 150. Uh, well, if Hideri gets hooked here under tower, he's going to be in trouble. Walking up a little bit more than I'd feel comfortable doing, but uh, he does a pretty good job and is able to get out. Farm advantage in jungle and AD. Um, 
for the meta busters, everywhere else they are losing. Uh, and the soul lanes are actually, we're both 41 to 20 there for a second. Not exactly want to see, these resources are not available um, for those soul laners. Um, Rex is getting poked out um, pretty heavily. Lulu doesn't actually have any healing, uh, just some shielding. So you want to be there preemptively to pre prevent the damage instead of kind of giving it back later. Deary is trying to just clear this wave out before the play is here. Um, he might die to the bleed, but uh, Gnome's here to have a counterplay, and yes! Uh, Avery just picks up a kill and is going to pick up another one. This Darius is just too strong, I think. Yeah, Gnome's just going to die. Well, we are not respecting the Darius, and we're going to pay for the price for it, I think. Uh, he is a very strong champion, especially in these, like, 2v1s. Um, once he gets the bleed stacked, he is completely disgusting. Um, that extra attack damage and just dot is going to be too much for most people to deal with. Um, and Hong goes for the ulti, and he's just going to be able to clean up Silico. Uh, this matchup is potentially not as great uh, as you'd want it to be um, for the Singed. Jacob did get some good poke here. I feel like the bot lane for Metabusters is doing pretty well. This is the lane you'd expect them to lose too, which is kind of funny, I guess, overall. Um, you'd expect a winning mid and top, and those are the two lanes that are doing uh, the worst. I feel like Noam is trying his best to keep up with Anne here, but Anne's lanes are just uh, doing a lot better, so it's a much easier job. Stuff is breaking down bot though, Anne showed up. Uh, but the Q is burned. The ult goes onto Garrett, who's under tower. So Anne's actually going to take some tower damage. Gnome's here, but I don't think he's going to be able to engage because the poly is still present. Uh, and there's just too many people there. Um, Silico's looking to come down. It looks like they're going to go for a regank, maybe a dive, but there's a control ward present. Uh, Vi has no ultimate, so they might just be able to turn and grab the Drake. I don't know how Spectres would be able to contest them, but it seems like they don't want to. Ellen's going to walk up, find this control ward. Uh, just clear out the vision. Maybe they will rotate to Dragon and make the right play, but no, Silico's just running for it. I'm not sure what he's going to get done here. Um, looking to scoop someone out of tower, but he just gets polyed immediately. Um, and Garrett's looking to go in, but he's just going to draw tower aggro. Is not able to pick up a kill. He's going to die to tower. They're able to get one in trade, but Silico's down two. This is a two for two so far. And now it's going to be a two for three. Yeah, you could have just gone to Dragon. Um... This fight was a bit unfortunate. Uh, yeah, Jacob is the winner of this for um, the Meta Busters. And Anne came out quite well in the end of that um, for the Spectres. Gary looking to make a trade, but again, the Starius stacking up um, the bleed damage and the extra attack damage is just going to be crazy. I'm not really sure what Gary can do here. This matchup seems a bit weak. I'm not sure why they chose it. Both of these solo lanes, you had counter pick on both uh, and just kind of get nothing out of it, which sucks. Um, yeah, it's tough. I'm not sure what Metabusters really has to do here. Uh, I felt like they were winning bot, but now the Twitch has a little gold infusion. Um, going for that uh, Blade of the Rune King first. Maybe Noam can get something here. Has it six, so is invisible. Control words dropped. Hong does not know and just walks away. Silco's looking for the flip. I'm not sure he has it. Greed's under tower for it. Hong doesn't have the stun stack, but Silco's just going to get out, actually. Uh, but now Noam gets stunned. Silco's trying to scrap with Tibbers, but should be able to just get out. I don't think this was the play. Silco has to expend ultimate um, to get basically nothing. Alright, Noam is hunting for Kathy. He's able to get the charm down. Maybe Garrett can hop in and get a kill here. And that is going to be enough damage. Kill given over to this Tristana. This is what you want to see for Meta Busters. This could be their way back into this game. The flash from Avery is just going to pick up the kill. Stun comes out under tower. Good ult by Hidiri, but it's just not enough to save him. Um, yeah, a bit rough.
will say, I feel like Kadiri played the lane well. It's just not really a winnable lane, uh, and I'm not sure why you'd pick this matchup. Um, if we saw the Sichuani jungle and something like... Uh, Okay, well now Silica is just going to drop down and die to the Vi. Um, once again, does not respect tower damage. Um, or the fact that Annie has CC. Um, looking a bit rough. Yeah, the Rift Herald is going to get some plates mid. Um, they do trade for the dragon, so they'll have something helping them out in the late game. This play needs to be big, though, for anything to work out. Jacob does have ultimate. They're looking to line up, so there could be something here if they just go for it. Um, if you wait for the Twitch to push up a little bit, it might be better. But no, the CC just misses, and now you're getting nothing. Um, Twitch is now ulting, got the stealth for the bonus attack speed. And Jacob is just potentially going to get threaded by the double charm. Garrett doesn't have anything, though. Um, has no mana. The coordination was not here between these two members from the Metabusters, and it's looking a little bit rough. Silico's here, pops the ghost, pops the ultimate. He's running. Um, Kathy does have Polly, is not going to use it yet. Potentially still holding it. Rex is going to get flipped, gives the kill over to Garrett, exactly what you want to see. Kathy expends the flash, and Silico decides not to follow it up. Just going to grab the wave and return to the top lane. It seems I actually may have been mistaken. I think the Sichuani Darius matchup is favored, but um, not if you try and fight early and um, and force their hand on the Vi, and then you went for another play with the gank, and now the Darius is just way too far ahead. Uh, potentially Avery's going to fall here. They have three committed top. Um, the charm from Evelyn expired, but the root's going to hit, and that is a shutdown 700 gold going down to the Evelyn. Um, and that is five stacks on the Dark Seal, so honestly you're not in a terrible place here anymore. You're less than 2,000 down, um, which is a lot better than it was before. Avai is going for the invade, is spotted out on the ward. Um, looks like Garrett might try and stop this. Jacob's trying to do a pincer maneuver and collapse on here. The bomb gets put down, but Andrew's going to go over the wall. Onto a control ward um, is not going to be stopped by Jacob here. Silico is really struggling in this lane. Um, down about 50 CS. Uh, Hideri's actually caught up a little bit. Um, it kind of reinforces my take that just too much fighting too early. I think otherwise he would have been able to salvage the lane, but it's a bit rough now. Uh, hopefully the Sichuani will provide more utility in the later fights uh, than now. Jacob's getting ulted. Kathy is caught up by the root. The charm drops down. Full stack bomb on Rex. He might die. The Lulu ulti is here. But now Garrett's going to have the hop reset. Kathy is not in a good position here. Grounded is going to get picked up by Noam again. Garrett has another hop to go in here, but makes a smart move and does not try to 1v1 the Vi with ultimate. 4 and 0 has Black Cleaver. You do not want to get too close to that. Um, Garrett does have his completed mythic item, and they're going to look for some plates here. But um, Avery, the weak side detainee himself, actually did get a gank early this game um, and is quite strong. Uh, the gold lead is about uh, 2,000 still. Uh, Spectres look to be in a good position, but if Metabus is able to pick up this dragon, I feel like the game state is pretty close to even. Um, neither team has like a huge scaling advantage. Um, I feel like the top side for Spectres falls off a little bit, but obviously Twitch Lulu is going to be devastating in the late game, but um, your team fight power with Sejuani, Singe, Trist, and Seraphine's is crazy. Um, Evelyn just needs a snowball, but as I say that, uh, Noam is a uh, nine stack Medjize. The Medjize is just fully completed here. Five, two, and three ahead on farm. Um, so yeah, we could see a pretty good performance from here to carry this game. Um, he is closer to finishing his jungle upgrade. Uh, he's pathing down here. He sees Hong. Hong's just going to pop the shield, run, throws the stun just in case uh, Noam was too close, but believe that any w doesn't really outreach vision um so i'm not sure there's too much of a point in doing that i think if the w would hit you'd see the evelyn looks like uh the specters are trying to set up for a dive on bot here um avery and hong are both here uh 
Yeah, really good any ult here. They spotted the Evelyn out. Gnome's trying his best to get away. Needs to preserve the stacks, but Hong picks up the kill. Really clean any game play. Another stun. And just Hong just cleans up. Um, they're really cut out of position here. They ran away from the Darius, but you run away from the Darius, you walk right up to the Annie. Jacob is trying his best to clear out this wave, but the dragon is actually going to go over to um, the Spectres instead. There could be a play here. Silica's looking to pick it up, but the stuns drop down from Hong. They get the charm, actually. Silica gets the flip. Hong's dropping down low. No Evelyn ult is available, so it's tough. Um, and hits both with this play. Jacob is looking for the root, is not going to get it. The charm comes down, though. Silico gets the flip, and they should just be able to pick up this kill. And is doing so much damage and is not really dying very quickly. And that is a shutdown going over to Noam. 8 stack Medjai, 733, 3, and is probably sitting on a crap ton of gold. Has the most gold in the game, and it is not even close. Uh, except Avery actually is like 500 behind, so um, ignore that last part. But they should be able to pick up this second rift, have more than enough time to do it. And there's nothing really better else on the map for them to do. Um, however, Rex did just pick up a turret. Um, but I still think uh, Garrett has been outperforming a little bit. And Garrett can just hop out when Twitch gets here. Um, although, yeah, Rex is just able to pick it up. Um, the Lulu stats are going to be super good. He doesn't even need to flash, just burns the ghost instead. Um, good punish by Spectres. Uh, seeing that Garrett's out of position, they just pounce, take the opportunity. I'm picking up a turret and a kill. Just want to shout out Garrett here. I'm um, playing super well into an ADC that's touted as being like the best in the server right now. So, um, good stuff there. Game has slowed down a little bit. I don't expect to see too many fights breaking out until the Baron or the Dragon have spawned. Uh, depends if people want to flip over a 20 minute Baron. Um, you're not going to get too much from it. Um, Spectres might, as they've taken down all three towers, but uh, Metabusters certainly don't have too much to gain from it, so they might just try and make a defensive play on it, but I don't see them setting up and trying to take it. Uh, it's much better for them to try and fight over this Dragon. Um, they're only down about 2,000 gold, which honestly isn't terrible. Um, most of it is going to be on the mid and top lane. Yeah, those are about 2,000 apiece. They're just making it up um, in the other lanes. Uh, jungle and bot lane are actually doing pretty well for meta busters, so kind of love to see it. If Rex is here again, has the ult, burns it. Uh, yikes. Yeah, Anne's here to wrap it up. Uh, Noam is going for Rex, is not able to pick him up because of the polymorph and the Lulu ultimate. And now this is probably just going to be three kills for Rex. Um, Hadiri's in a rough spot also. Although Hadiri might be able to get out. Doesn't take the Blast Cone though. But they're just pincered here. Um, Darius is going to pick up one of these. And Rex is probably going to pick up the other. Yep, that's three for Rex. Might be a fourth. Um, I don't see a world where Jacob gets out of this um, without expending the Flash. And now at this point, uh, I don't even think the Flash is going to save him. There's no tower here. It seems like he didn't know that. And now that is a fourth kill for Rex. And... Um, yeah, now that's a thousand gold lead uh, for the bot lane of the Spectres. I think it's a bit over here. Um, the Lulu, Polly, and Ultimate is pretty much just neutering this Evelyn pick. Uh, no stacks left on the Medjai's. It's pretty rough. Like, maybe Metabusters could go for Dragon, but they're not doing that. Silica's gonna try to 1v4 this fight. Um, Noam's here. Ult in and steals a Baron. Good stuff from Noam. 
Uh, Silco is trying to just get Rex. Is going to pick it up. That's a shutdown. Um, picking up 700 gold here. They went one for one and stole the Baron. Huge play from Noam. Um, Silico not looking too bad either. Hadiri uh, is looking to pick up Ann. Ann is just overextending. But Hong is a double stun with Tibbers. And that should just be a double kill for him. I'm not sure if Silico is going to be able to escape. And Hadiri is in a rough spot here too. I thought that um, Spectres were overcommitting. But Ann doesn't even fall. Uh... And Hong does so much there. Yep, this dragon pickup for Spectres is going to be pretty good. Um, they're going to start sacking towards this Infernal Soul. The extra damage on the Twitch, Annie and Vi is going to be disgusting. I don't know if Darius really needs it, to be honest, but he's getting the buff as well. Um, tough shit for the Metabusters. It's going to be hard for them to kind of bring this one back. They're in a pretty bad position here. Um, weren't able to just go for the Dragon. Uh, the Baron Seal is pretty solid. Um, able to get some gold back in their hands and makes it so they're not going to be down too many items, but. Um, ideally, you don't overcommit on that play and you just get both. Uh, Jacob's trying to keep the minions alive, but Hong with that stun threat is very scary. You can't disrespect him. Uh, now that the cannon minion is not buffed anymore, they're not going to be able to pick up this mid tower. Um, Rex is looking for this, pops the ghost. Jacob is maybe just going to get one shot, tries to use the ultimate, but it doesn't matter. Twitch late game is too strong. Uh, even has the Gale Force to dodge out of that Seraphine ultimate. Um, and get away from the Singed. Pretty intelligent buy there. Normally you'll see uh, the Kraken, but just doesn't feel it necessary as the two tanks uh, for the Meta Busters are not very strong. Noam's three items. Um, first player in the game to reach that check mark. Um, caveat that uh, Magi's is not very expensive, but you know. Here he's just going to walk into Hong, gets stunned, but does not do that much damage because he is a very tanky Sichuani. I don't even think he has any MR. Um, Hong just doesn't do that much to him. Here he is trying to clear this wave out, but he is just going to get ganged up on. Rex is here, pops the ultimate, is not going to find Garrett, might find Jacob, but Hong's here for the flank, is going to pick up both of them. Um, Noam is trapped under tower and is probably just going to get killed. He burns the ultimate. Um, Avery actually misses. Huge stun from Hadiri. Almost saves Avery, but um, he's trying to get the come up, and Hadiri is actually able to just... Uh, get a kill on the backside of that fight. Finally getting his revenge on Avery after laning phase. Um, Silico and Hideri are looking to get this, but Lulu ult's still available, so you're not actually going to be able to kill Rex. Um, sorry, Metabusters. The Polymorph comes in there just the right time, prevents Silico from going over the wall, but um, they just don't have enough damage to kill him outright. Uh, but Anne does. Uh, misses, however. Uh, burns the ultimate. It's probably just going to be enough. And Anne gets out. Um... The Metabusters are just kind of getting routed here. Um, I'd like to see them adapt to a more early game draft um, for the next game. Um, usually as a weaker team in a matchup against a stronger team, you want to go for the early game aggression. Try and flip the game on its head if you can. Um, tending to go for a more scaling, safer draft almost usually backfires on you. Um, just because the other team has proved themselves to be better, so it's unlikely that they'll lose in the long run if both teams are able to scale up about equally. I'd like to see Noam pivot into the Vi. I feel like the champion isn't super counterable at the moment. Um, Wukong is the one that people like to default to, and I really don't see End picking that champion. Could see the Sichuani also, but um, again, don't really see End playing that, so. Jarvan's probably the best you're going to get, or like a Viego or Diana, but I don't even think those are true counters. 
the other ones at least kind of peel the Vi off of um, your carry. Game slowed down a bit. Um, both objectives are spawning in 40 seconds, which means that the teams are going to have to choose what they go for. Um, if the Spectres are able to just pick the Deary off before this play starts, it puts them in a pretty good position. Deary's trying to get enough damage down into Avery, but I don't know if that was necessarily the play. Um, the whole team turns. It looks like they might just be seeding Dragon here. I'm not really sure how they punish it. Silico's going to try and stop this, but they could just say, hey, you get Dragon, but we're going to open up your base. Um, looks like they're just going to offer the Baron instead. Um, Noam is just sitting here waiting for the uh, dragon to spawn. Um, no one is really going down for it. Uh, Hong's potentially looking to stop or steal. Uh, Garrett's here also. Looks like they're just going to gentleman to the trade. Um, Hong is here, gets picked up on Vision. Um, has Flash ulti available to him, but they're not really grouping. Just goes for the one shot on Garrett. Uh, is able to pick it up. Uh, Hong is dominating, is able to pick up one kill here, and Timbers is just bullying Noam off the objective. Uh, Jacob's here to try and help, but Hong might be able to just pick up the stun. Yep, flash W from Annie, really good play. Godlike Hideri is trying to just fend Hong off of it, but now you're over committing. The other team has already picked up the Baron. Um, Hong's dropping down low, is gets shut down by uh, the Seraphine, but now the Seraphine and Sejuani are both going to be dead. Silico's going to try and help out in the back of this fight as much as he can, but I don't really know how much you do. Um, Spectre should look to just force their way into the base. I don't know if you even need to pick up this dragon. Uh, they're going to choose to, um, it seems like. Anne actually decides not to help and is instead going to push out this bot wave. And Darius is just striding into the base, uh, knows the Singe can't do anything to stop him. Now, Metabusters are just forced to play like wave clear simulation. You have uh, two waves shoved into you, one wave that's just meeting at the middle, and Spectres are all on our reset. And I believe all five of them have Baron buff, except for. Actually, Teddy doesn't. Hongbaba with no Baron buff um, did die. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a pretty tough fight. You're now down over 10,000 gold. Um, Noam really tried his best here, but don't know what more he really could have done. Uh, Hideri's going in, but there's no way you win this fight against the Darius this fed. Darius pops the Ghost. I don't think it matters. Uh, he has the Tenacity Boots, and Darius just going to drop down low. Gnome's here to try and stop it, but Avery picks up one, and he's so strong, he hits three, man. That is double kill. Dodges out that. That's three kills. That is fourth quadra kill. He's going to look for the Penta. Silico's falling down low. Is that half? Avery goes in, hits him once, hits him twice, stacking this bleed back up. Avery's falling down low, the Lulu ult's here. And that's the Penta kill for Avery! Picks it up on the Darius, looking like broken bleed out here. Whoo! Drops the GG in chat. Honestly, you deserve that one after that. Avery stomped this game. That was an amazing performance. Front to back domination from him. Um, amazing game by the Spectres here. I do think Metabusters has potential if they adapt their drafts, but um, drafting um, interesting counter lanes to kind of facilitate a Tristana Seraphine late game with an Evelyn to back it up just doesn't work if those two lanes lose this hard. Um, shout out Avery, my man, for that Penta. That was awesome. Uh, always love to see uh, some gameplay like that. Huge stuff going on. I'm not sure what the side select was, but uh, we will have to see. Um, draft links are actually out, so I do know. Um, but they didn't label it, uh, so that's not exactly helpful. Um, looks like Spectres is the blue side again. Um, Metabusters choosing to take red after their loss. Um, I don't believe we have any roster changes, so I'm going to try and get this pulled up as fast as possible. I also don't know what time um, this is. Uh... 
I'm going to go ahead and ping captains. Um, I'm not sure if I just generated assets here or not. Uh, it seems I did not. Okay, give me two seconds. Okay, I don't think too much has changed. Um, so I might go take a break, uh, run to the bathroom and go um, get some food. Yeah, these are just going to be the same because I didn't log games. But, you know, I'm slacking or whatever. Uh, this is the previous game draft. I should get the other one pulled up soon. Oh, Noam is my goat, bro. Immediately updates everything, just as I ask him to. Perfect. All right, I'm going to leave you out with some music and stuff. Um, draft is going to start in seven minutes?
All right, I am back. It seems like draft is going to start in about a minute. Um, I believe everything is going to uh, probably stick with the same bands. I don't think the bands are necessarily going to change. Um, hmm. I do hope Metabusters draft something more aggressive. Uh, I would have hoped that they went for blue side to grab the Vi, but uh, clearly this did not happen. Um, draft should be starting in about 30 seconds. Um, but yeah, I think that should be pretty interesting. Um, I wonder if the Lulu gets banned over the Draven, but I don't think so. I don't see any need for the Spectre's bans to change. I don't know, I feel like no one played very well in the Evelyn. Um, it just wasn't uh, enough to kind of get them anywhere. I mean, Garrett and Jacob honestly played pretty well. I'd be happy with them taking the same lane uh, under Rex and Kathy here, so I don't see a necessary need for um, Twitch or Yumi ban. Um, draft should be starting any second. Um, hopefully, it starts soon. Okay, I see mysterious in the bathroom. Um, hot take, but if the Sejuani was his call into the Darius, maybe maybe we get a different thing. And uh, maybe it's okay that he's in the bathroom, but I feel like that might not have been the take there. But who knows? I think it's a decent matchup. I think it's just hard to play it right, um, given that they dedicated resources to Avery. Um, I think you figure that they're not going to try and uh, snowball the. Uh, Twitch Lulu lane. Um, but I don't know. I think it's kind of hard to predict where the jungle pressure is going to be when you pick lanes and stuff. Uh, would like to see something different from him there, though. I don't know. I mean, I think if we see something like the Cassante or something, that could be cool. Uh, obviously, it does pretty badly into the Darius, so it might not be, like, the perfect angle. Um, I don't know. Looking for a way to shut down the Darius might be good. Um, there's not, like, too many, like, great uh, ways to do it. I think Jace is decent. Uh, I don't know if he plays it. Gangplank, which I do know he plays, I think could be pretty strong. Um, or you just do something boring like the Ornn, um, Urgot, Maokai, Gragas, and just trying to play um, pretty neutral. Uh, something like Vayne could be funny also. I think Wukong still has a favorable matchup into him. Uh, a lot of decent options. Nothing's like crazy. Um, unless you're playing Vayne top, which <laughs> I don't know if we're doing. Uh, could be interesting. Uh, I just don't necessarily see it happening. Um, we could see the Teemo ban left up against Silico, but I honestly doubt it. Um, I feel like people hate to see him play that champion, so... Um, it's easier to just leave it banned to not have to worry about it. Um, okay, draft is actually starting now, maybe. All right, we are in the draft. Um, Things should be getting pretty exciting. Maybe, hopefully. I hope Metabuster swaps it up. Uh, Ezreal, taken off the table. Nothing new here. Um, Soraka, again, maybe. No, Twitch is banned. Interesting. 
Um, I feel like they dealt with it pretty well. Um, the game just kind of got out of control. Uh, so interesting to see that taken away. Draven insta-banned. Teemo also taken off the table. Um, Seraphine hovered. Might be banned instead of the Nami. Um, I think Jacob's comment in uh, the Discord might have caused this one. He goes, Nami is uh, not even good. Um, Senna instead hovered. I I'd like to see the Seraphine banned. He looks pretty good on that. Sona, also a good ban against Jacob. Uh, they're hovering Yumi, but banning Nami. Uh, it's kind of goofy. Um, Udir is banned first round. Uh, a little bit surprising. Never mind, the Vi? Master Yi. It's got to be Vi. Victor. Okay. Um, well, I expect Anne to just pick Vi up. Uh, I don't see any reason why you don't. Um... Unless we're just doing Annie first again, which we are. Please pick something different. The Singe did not work at all. Um, I don't want to see a repeat of that. I don't know. I think, I think mid, mid lane plus Vi here is a really good rotation. Uh, I would not hate that pick. I think maybe if you're trying to flex Vi into the mid lane like the other team did. Ori, yes, thank you. Okay, I know Silica has been championing... Um, this champion, but just didn't pick it. Uh, instead, went for uh, Singed. Um, very questionable. Um, Oriana Vi is killer here. Please lock in these two champions together. There's no reason to do anything else, for the love of God. And? 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 Is Masad Agent 18 going to whip out the Vi? Uh, Lulu. Interesting. I'm not sure what they're going to whip out with this pairing. I don't know what Jacob's going to do. It's possible that they felt like the Lulu might neuter the Vi, so they just pick it away. Because um, that way if Anne locks in Vi, it's countered by Lulu. And if they pick Vi, the other team doesn't get Lulu. Uh, I think it's not a terrible idea. Um, but both Twitch and Lulu denied here. It felt like both halves of the combo were too strong on their own. Callista! As a Callista enjoyer, I love to see this locked in. Um, they're going for a more early game aggressive pick here. Um, Yumi would be hilarious, but we're not. No shot. They locked in Callista Yumi. Um, I'm not even sure if and or how this works. Um, very interested to see how this goes. This could just be an ego. We can't lose no matter what we do. Um, this has got to be Grief, maybe? Or the Callista is going to bind to the jungler. Um, I would actually like to see that adaptation here. I think that could be pretty interesting. Um, it's cool to see someone besides me playing Callista. Um, Caitlyn Lulu. Interesting. Um, not the greatest, but not terrible either. I do want to see Vi taken off the table here. I think there's a lot you can do with the Vi champion, and I don't think either team should really let it slide through, but I think Spectre should ban it. No, Metabusters is not comfortable picking this. You have the Oriana. I'm not sure why we're leaving it up. Maybe you want to do Ori Jarvan instead? Um, not too, too sure. Uh, I also would have much preferred Ash into the Callista. Um, I think it is a just better champion than Caitlyn at the moment as well. Um, and it just removes Callista from the game. I also think it synergizes better with Lulu. Um, Cassante is banned away from Hadiri. Um, knows that he's very comfortable on it. I'd like to see a Darius denial, just because it felt like they didn't really have a good counter for that either. Okay, good. Darius is taken off the table. Um, that's exactly what we needed to see, in my opinion. Um, I don't know what this should be. Maybe Jarvan. No, I don't know. Okay, yeah, good ban. I'll take that. Um, now you're kind of out of easy ball champions, so you might have to go for something a little more creative. Um, I don't like that you're banning your own Vi here. Uh, it's a little bit questionable. Uh, maybe they just assumed it would uh, get banned away from them? Unsure. Um, I hope this is a jungle lock-in. If it's a top lock-in. Um... Okay, Wukong. That's decent. Uh, it's a nice flex pick, actually. Uh, so I'm not not a hater here. Uh, I think there could be a lot kind of cooking here. Um, I wonder what the counter into this is going to be. Um, the Udir is not actually denied. Uh, so that is pretty interesting, actually. They take away the Vi, which is countered by the Wukong. But they just leave Udir up. Um, 
think it is entirely possible that Udyr does well in Tukong. No. Okay, never mind. Terrible matchup. Uh, but it is locked in anyway. Um, Viego could have been very fun. Uh, don't see that, though. Uh, we do see Udyr picked. Um, kind of sleeper, in my opinion. I think that matchup is just as bad as the Vi matchup, but uh, I don't know how necessarily effective jungle matchups are in this game, um, especially when top lane is super dominant. Um, I assume this means that the Wukong is going to be in the jungle, though. Gnar blind picked. We got Summit on our team now or something? Like, I don't get it. Okay. Hidiri? Pick Malphite? Malphite. Thank you. Um, Orin is also fine. Or Urgots. Gangplank. But, like, Malphite? Just pick Malphite. Olaf. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. This is hype. Um, Olaf and Wukong both beat um, Nar, uh, so we could see a flex going on here. I'm not entirely sure what the take is. Uh, not sure how they both fare into Udyr, but I feel like they'd both be pretty good. Um, I just don't think there's enough like uh, Olaf jungle games to really have um, anything. All right, I will start the prediction for this one. Same thing. Okay. Uh Ori Wukong is decent. I think that is actually probably the next step down for good ball comps. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, I want to see the Callista bind to anyone but Yumi. Um, I feel like that wouldn't be very good um, for a lot of reasons. But we'll have to see what they go for here. Um, it looks like it is probably going to be the Olaf top, but uh, can't be too sure. I'm going to try and get these assets going though. Um, want to be able to look at some of these matchups. I don't know. I'm a huge fan of the Olaf pick and the Wukong pick. Uh, don't know how I like the Wukong synergizing with the Ori, but it's not terrible. I would just would have liked to see Vi. Um, Caitlyn Lulu is a bit scuffed. Uh, we could have seen an Ash, and it would have been great. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of Callista Yumi either, so I think it kind of balances out in that respect. Uh, I think this is going to be a game of League of Legends for sure. Um, but uh, looking at this, Avery is first timing the Nar. Um, Rex is first timing the Callista. Garrett is 0-3 on the Caitlyn. Let's hope he can turn that one around for his own sake. Um, Noam is a bit rough on the Wukong. Silico, however, pretty good on the uh, Ori. And Hong is now 2-0 and zero on Annie. Deary performed pretty decently on the Olaf. Um, and Jacob's Lulu is not terrible. Um, about as good as Kathy's Yumi. Kathy's win rate on Yumi is going to be inflated because it's Yumi. Um, so I don't think the difference in KD means too, too much there. Um, spectator delay should end in about two and a half minutes. Um, so let's look at some other stuff. Uh, the season Rex of these champions, Nar has been suffering. Oriana has been chilling. Um, Callista has been kind of smurf. I will take some credit for that. Uh, I don't know who all has played her this season. Um, these are not going to have changed because I didn't put in the game. Um, and these champ matchups, Udyr has smurfed on Wukong the only time it was played. I would have to imagine um, this is a like a crusty old game between like um, Mason and uh, Ezra. I don't know um, if that's accurate, but I'm just going to double check to try and confirm. Um, it would almost definitely have to be Mason, though, you'd think. Oh, it's Mason versus Jonah. Um, King Grooming Service versus Silicats. Um, kind of hype. Uh, the Callista versus Caitlyn game, I would hope is me. That seems like a very good KD. Um, but we'll have to see. Uh... Yeah, 
Okay, so I will actually have to step away during this game. Um, so I'll probably just toss some music on in the meantime. Um, I've actually not played uh, Callista into Caitlyn. Um, so I'm trying to figure out who that was. Um, Callista is not one of our more common pick. There's only three games of Callista that weren't me. Um, so this must have been the time that Sarvis. Okay, Sarvis played Caitlyn, or uh, played Callista into Caitlyn. So that would have been this matchup um, into Alex, actually. But there was a NASA support in that game, uh, which was kind of cool. Um, should just completely neuter uh, the Callista, but I guess it didn't end up doing that uh, in this game. Um, yeah, uh, I guess that would have been another one of the Callista games this season. Um, if I filter it down to just this season, it looks like Alex has played it, and then I've played it three times. 3-0 um, and o on the pick, I might add, and Sarvis has also won. So we'll see if uh, Rex joins me and Sarvis, or if he joins Alex in the losing column. Um, should be pretty interesting. Okay, see, Michaela, I would support your opinion about Yumi if they didn't rework her into a total piece of shit. Um, I can't support Yumi after the rework. Um, what's, the, what's the Teddy quote? Ruined a fun and somewhat skilled champ SMH? Yeah. Like, any argument you have about Yumi requiring skill, I think, is now off the table. Um, it was on the table before, because um, I think there was an argument to be made, but um, not anymore. But I'm going to check to see who Callista binds to, and then I'm going to walk away from the game. Um, if it's a bind to Yumi, I'm doing it out of spite. If it's a bind to anyone else, I'm just doing it because I have to go anyway. Um, so I should be able to stop back over and um, swap over to the next game when it happens. But uh, I will be a little bit AFK for the time being. I would guess it's Udir. Yep. Alright, this should be a good zoom level. Alright, I will talk to you.
All right, I'm not going to lie. I did not get to watch too much of that game. Um, from what I saw, uh, it seemed like uh, Silico put up a pretty good fight. Um, kept it even. Garrett and Jacob put up a pretty good fight too as well. Although I think it was, uh, you know, pretty easy into a Callista Yumi lane. Um, I will have to rewatch two to side MVP. But uh, good series for Spectres. Uh, clean 2-0. Uh, good stuff for them. Um, Medbusters looked a lot more solid this game though. Uh, Hidiri had some pretty cool plays. So, shout out them. Thanks to anyone who watched. I'm going to cut the stream here. Goodbye.